A lot of women have unfortunately picked the wrong man and have gotten involved and caught up with an individual that only created more damage, more misery, more wasted time, simply took them off track, derailed them from their purpose, you name it, it was a disaster with this man. And it was because the selection process needs some fine tuning. So I'm going to lay out some clues for you so that you can be better at recognizing that guy so that you can actually experience the great relationship. So let's get to it. Clue number one, and this one, you might be a little surprised by it, some of you. You will feel vulnerable with him. Now, this is extremely important for you to understand. I'm going to break this down from two angles, all right? I'm going to break this down from the healthy woman angle, healthy, healthy emotionally, and the woman who has not healed angle, okay? And I'm not going to lie. Most of y'all are going to fall into the woman who has not healed. That's just the reality, all right? That's nothing to be ashamed of right now. We, we can address that and correct that, but that may be where you are right now. But let's start with the healthy woman angle, okay? You meet that man who is for you, who you really are truly into, all right? It, it pulls out all your vulnerabilities, all right? It, and, 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 and to a woman who is healthy, it feels like heaven on earth. I mean, it, it feels so amazing. It's like, it's like what you pictured when you were a little girl in the fairy tale. That's how it feels it, it, when you're in his presence, when you're with him. It feels like a dream. It's so amazing and wonderful. And when you are a healed woman, you will love this. And you will embrace this. And this is going to be a clear sign for you. Now, yes, there are plenty of women who get goo goo gaga over a guy and it be the wrong guy. And, and that's why, again, we have to always align these things with the other things we're mentioning on this list. And, of course, most importantly, we have to align it with you actually going to God in prayer to confirm this is the man you should be entertaining or you should be with. All right? But outside of that, you will feel a level of vulnerability. Your ability to be feminine with this man is going to be easier. Your ability to open up to him is going to be easier. Your ability to be yourself with him is going to be easier. All of that falls into vulnerability and it's an amazing experience. But now let's flip it to the unhealthy woman. And the reality is it will scare the crap out of you. You will be like, what the hell is going on? It, it, it will be a mixture of in moments, it feels amazing. And then when you step away for a second, you're like, holy crap, what just happened here? Like, it is going to be overwhelming. It is going to make you feel like you're losing yourself. And the reality is that you won't be losing yourself. You'll actually be getting closer to your true self. But you can't tell the difference because this new person that you've walked in, for however many years, months, whatever, that you've conditioned yourself to believing you are, you now identify as this woman. So to make it a little bit more clearer for you, if you become a guarded woman and you become a woman who carries more masculine energy, so to speak, you may now start to believe this is who you are. I'm just like this, you know, blah, 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 right? Now you meet this man and, and he's the guy. And now you feel super vulnerable. And now that wall is coming down on its own. Now that, that masculine energy is dissipating and you're like, what's going on here? And now that's why I said you will feel like you're losing yourself because you will be, pu be pulled away from the wall, the masculinity, the hardness, the fear. Well, not the fear because the fear is going to creep back in because you haven't healed. And, and you're going to feel like I'm getting away from who I thought I was. But no, you'll be actually drawing to who you truly are. But anyways... I always say this one deserves probably its own video. But the point is, when you are not healthy emotionally, this can be a very scary experience. And I have seen tons of women, tons, run from the man that they that is the right man for them, that they have the connection with, that something is amazing is happening here because it scared them, because it was too much, because they felt like they weren't worthy. Which is another issue and another symptom of having not healed from your past. And so I need you to understand that side because sometimes as a woman, you may confuse the fear, the, 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 the uncomfortableness of it all, the, the, all that I explained 
as, okay, this is just too much. This must mean I should not be with this guy. No, it means you need to address the deeper issues. It means you need, it means you need to get yourself right from within. It means that you need to draw closer to God in that moment and gain clarity from him and not allow your fear or your mind or outside influences who don't understand what's really going on here to throw you off track and pull you away from where you actually belong. So just understand that, yes, when he is the right man God has for you, he will make you feel vulnerable, more vulnerable than you feel with other men. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. But when he's willing to embrace your desired level of communication and be consistent and he wants to hear from you, he wants to talk to you, this is a very good sign he wants a serious relationship. Because again, most men,